What's up, Raft Gang? Welcome back to another unboxing video. This video is going to be on what I am purchasing for my PlayStation VR 2, which I love very much. I play a lot of it. Check out my live streams if you want to see me play some sweet games. And uh, you know what? It's time that I put my PS VR headset in a proper stand versus just on my couch. And then my controllers plug in one by one into my PS5 to charge separately, which is a pain in the butt. And a lot of times it doesn't even charge. So now, when I'm done playing amazing VR, put my headset on the stand, put my headphones on the stand, and put my two controllers click on a charging dock with LED lights to tell me when they're charging and when they're fully done charging, which is fantastic. So I scoured the uh, Amazon website, and uh, this seems to be the hottest of the hot. Let's check it out. Make sure you hit that like button, subscribe, and welcome to my channel. Let's look at the web page here. Amazon and let me tell you guys when I purchased this there were 20 available and uh, today There's none. I will leave a link in the description below Just keep clicking on it and eventually they'll come back in stock and then you want to pick yourself up one of these because it is Raf cave worthy definitely So this one what I what I noticed is the color LED light strip right here, which is amazing um, So it lights up in these individual six different colors or it does a random uh, uh, cyclone basically of uh, colors. He also gives you four uh, separate little USB C uh, magnetic clickers or little uh, uh, contacts for the uh, the charging. Click in your controller and it slaps in the uh, the little spot down here and it doesn't go anywhere. It's going to click and it's going to be stable. And of course, you can put your headphones on this and then of course your headset as well. So this handles everything. It also has a pass through as well, so you can actually charge your headphones through this uh while it's while everything's charging uh so when you're looking at the uh yeah ours and and others you know ours and others this one wins hands down all of it looks great orange is for charging blue is for fully charged and it gives you uh four of them which is kind of nice you got two extras if you happen to lose them but i love that color that led color is what sold me the breathing light that's what i want yep Breathing light to cycle through all the colors. And it just looks great, guys. No more uh, separate controllers and headsets and and, uh, and, and and headphones on the table. You just put it right on this little thing. So it keeps everything neat and organized. And it's got a USB-A uh, pass through there. So you can charge something else while it's being charged through the PS5. So without further ado, guys, let's uh, get this unboxed and plug it in, charge it, and see what it looks like when it's fully together. Let's do that right now now and uh without further ado guys you know what time it is black in so as far as the box goes cool stuff you know yeah box very cool there we go slice that top open hope you guys are enjoying your psvr2 i am just got to get used to it if you're seeing some fuzziness. Got to get that eye tracking. And that uh, IP sensor thing locked in your eyes. And you'll get a great, great image. All right, looks like we got all the parts here. Okay, what's in here? Nothing. Put that there. All right, so it looks like this is the, uh, the spot where you rest your headset. And it's got some rubber padding here, which is good. This is going to be the, the back plate here where you rest your the back part of it and your headset as well. This is going to be your LED tube. Turn the direction if it's loose, it says. And then your uh, USB cable. Whoa, there's the instructions. Okay, instructions here. Uh, pretty simple. This tells you how to uh, how to put it together step by step there, and what the buttons do. Get your four. Your four. Yeah, these are really tiny. These little uh, USB C that goes into your controllers, very tiny. All right. So uh, yeah, this is the uh, the front of it here. So you can see that's where the LED strip goes. That's where your, your controller magnetic uh, charging ports go to and then your LED charging and fully charged go 
Should be pretty simple here, guys. Let's do the LED first. LED funnel. So, okay, it's cut up here, and uh, I guess we'll just go like, like so. Okay, just put that in there. Make sure it's kind of the cutout part is facing back. I imagine uh, this goes like this. And then this goes back like that. Pretty much it, guys. And now we'll get the uh, controllers connected. They're very tiny. One, and basically you just find the uh, USB port here and then plug this little guy in like that and it'll click in and there you go. There's your port and uh, I'm not sure. Let's see. How's this go? Oh, beautiful. Simple. Do the other one. Like how it clicks in like that. Boom, just like that. A USB cable here. This is probably gonna be about, uh, let's see, about two, two feet, two and a half feet, not much. This is the back, look at that again. You got your LED on and off. You got your different uh, light pattern, your USB-C, which will go into the PS5, and then your pass-through USB there. So plug in USB-C, click. See if I can reach the PS5 here. And there we go. The cord's a little short, so we got to lift it up. Um, but there you see both controllers are fully charged because they're both blue lights in the bottom there. If it was orange, it'd still be charging. So that's good to know. Controllers are charged. And then you push the LED button and you, sorry, you push the LED button in the back and then you can change the colors. There it is. That's the one I'm going to keep it on the, the cycling. Otherwise you can do fully solid colors. Boom, there's that. And let's get the headset, my headset here. Which is the Razer Kyra Pro. That'll go like that. And then let's go grab the headset. All right, guys, I'm just gonna back it up a little bit. So here it is, the full, the full layout here. And uh, it's nice, it's a nice looking tower. Of course, the light will be glowing, of course, but it's a beautiful. It's a beautiful setup, plenty of space, space for your headset back here, plenty of space for your, your headset. It won't slip forward. It's got those rubber stoppers in the bottom. As you can see, it's, it's a nice, clean setup here. Awesome. And uh, while I have you here, guys, uh, one thing I'm going to recommend is getting some disinfectant wipes just some generic basic one and use this to wipe the, the forehead or the back of sweat. Um, when you're cleaning the lens, only use a microfiber cloth, dry, soft microfiber to wipe the lenses. Don't use any kind of liquids on the lenses to clean them. Only use a dry microfiber cloth. And then one thing I would recommend is getting a, a fan, some kind of fan to blow air in your face while you're playing. Um, it helps uh, reduce uh, nausea, and it gives you a nice sense as well while you're in VR of wind and air moving around you, so it makes it a lot easier to play. So, yeah, awesome. Well, I'm going to set this up, and uh, absolute win, guys. Link in the description below. Keep an eye on it and order it immediately when it's back in stock. Thanks for watching, guys. Like, subscribe, share, and see the next one, Home Theater Rules. Wrap up. See you guys.